So Nikki Haley is still in the race to be the Republican uh, presidential nominee, and she just made this prediction about the Democratic playing field. Take a look. My bet is 30 days from now, I don't think Joe Biden's going to be the nominee. You look at, one, the report that came out, then he does the press conference where he was angry, and then he has another confused moment. Then he doesn't do the interview today that's awarded to every president for 25 minutes before the Super Bowl. And you see the Democrats starting to melt down. I wish Joe Biden well. I really do. But the Democrats, in the best interest of their party and our country, they need to find a new nominee. Is she going to be around for th the next 30 days? I mean, <laughs> she's, she's not going to be the nominee I've, either. What does she think is going to happen she needs in to 30 take several, days? She though. needs to take several seats. Well, my bet is that in, uh, in 12 days, that's when the uh, Republican primary in South Carolina, her home state is, yeah. my bet is that in 12 days, she's going to get beaten like a bongo drum yeah. in her home state by Donald Trump. Yeah. And my bet is that she's not going to be the Republican uh, nominee. So if you want to put money on it, hey, Nikki, I'm betting on Joe, not on you. Yeah. won't be the Republican nominee. It's, I mean, it's glaring signs here, but she, she's raising something that we talked about Friday and I do think is important. I, I talk to friends left, right, and center, and there is very real fear for people like us who cannot see Donald Trump be president again. I mean, I testified against him to the Department of Justice. I am fearful for what it would mean for this country. This weekend, he put out a screed that evoked Nazi-like language about how this is the final battle and I'm not even going to predict more. And I am worried that the best fighter Democrats think they could put forward is somebody where there's glaring warning signs like Joe Biden. The thing I don't see, though, is I, I totally hear all the concerns because I the, the percentages... I know you don't love polls, so earmuffs yeah. with me, but the polls are... are are scary. There's like 37% of Democrats say they want him to seek a second term, but that's down from 52% just two years ago. 86% of Americans think Biden's too old. 73% of Democrats think Biden's too old. These numbers are scary. And the thing is, I don't see a plan B. I don't see any world in which there's anything else well, we could... Listen, the, the reason down. the polls are what they are is because Democrats are buying into the narrative that Republicans are creating and amplifying. They are the ones, you know, giving, giving, this, giving this so much credence. I think Joe Biden needs to do what Mitt Romney did on religion, what Obama did on race. Give a speech on age. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. not going to get any younger. Yeah. Go yeah. out there and say, yes, I'm 81 years old. But you know what? The other guy's got 91 counts yeah. that he's yeah. indicted with. Well, yes, I'm 81 years old. And that's 81 years of wisdom, of compassion, of lived experience, of losing a child, of going through the things that all Americans go through. It's 81 years of knowing the difference between dictators and allies. Well, and it's 81 difference. You 81 years. I want, I want, I want 81 to write that years, speech There's only I want, one person running who's 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 I, fighting hard for women to have more rights. Can, not can less I say rights. one thing though? Biden. Is Listen, if the election were held today, Joe Biden would overwhelmingly win the popular vote. I think by the most historic margin yeah. in history. I want to be clear about that. But we know our electoral system. Seven swing states and basically a handful, hundreds of thousands of people are going to determine who the next president is. You guys have acknowledged Republicans are often better at the messaging game. I just want to underscore, I'm not saying, like, I don't want Trump to win, but we can't just rely on how unlikely... You know let me, let me just put ensure? it this way. I want to give you eight things this forgetful old man remembered to do. Yeah. Historic investments in clean energy and health care with inflation reduction. He brought COVID relief with the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan, the bipartisan infrastructure deal, the $52 billion CHIPS Act, uh, got the first over-the-counter birth control pill of, uh, approved, signed the first significant gun safety law in 30 years, that got the first black woman onto the Supreme Court. <laughs> I just, student when, loan debt. when he, student loan debt, listen, when Happen Joe Biden, drugs. when Joe Biden doesn't do his job, when you can point to something that he hasn't gotten done, I don't care that he didn't remember to tell you when his beloved son died. I don't care that, because that's none of your business. When this man, when this man missteps for the nation, then we have a problem. And as long as people say, well, he's too old, he's too old. Well, you should, Nikki, what have you done? What have you done? 
Really? What can you point to? Because this man at 81 knew he was going to be 81 in four years and still said, I'm going to do this anyway, and he's done it. What are you going to do? Nothing.